Hi guys, welcome back to the best channel that ever existed. So, you're probably wondering why I'm sitting in this location on the floor, very random. There's like, uh, I'll explain this in a second. Because this is literally the best lighting in the entire place. Like, this is where it is. I don't know why. Like, it's, so there, there's a huge windows. And if I'm sitting like, for closer up where there's like a more reasonable background, it, it's it's too bright and if i'm sitting like against these walls where i have cute shelves like wow really nice decor like finally then the light it's, it's backlit and then if i sit on the couch and i set up like my tripod it's still super bright and the only like this is like the lighting i want like this is like chill natural lighting like i have no ring lights no accessories like this is just normal lighting right like this is what i want and this is like this like that you're seeing right now is only i'm not getting available if i sit here or if i sit like from here onwards like in there um these are the chairs that we need to build for the kitchen table um I'm really hoping honestly to do that tonight you want to see how she's ripping up the tag she chewed up these shoes that i have to show you today which is really sad i'm still gonna wear them um or we're, we're like we had like a little bit of a discussion we had like a a mediation um she's gonna bend me back for my shoes she she seems like she may not currently but she will she's so crazy where's your toy you know what you i played with her like all, she plays with coco all morning then coco hides after she like harasses her but anyway sorry so those are the kitchen table chairs this is a printer where that i need to move and then that's like a photo um like on a canvas that i actually need to give to my parents so this is why there's like this stack of um random shit right there oh that's like so random everything random shit. of some beautiful items that may look like they're in disarray they're not in disarray I need to grab the shoes actually. I don't know, I may try it on, I may not try it on, so I don't wanna make any promises. I will wear everything, so just follow me on Instagram. I know that like that it's probably getting old. I know, I'm sure I've said it way too many times. I'm having some coffee. Also, I think I told you, like, I decided that I'm drinking everything out of these glasses weeks ago with wine, coffee, juice, everything out of these cups. It makes it more of an experience for me. Which I talk about on my podcast. I've gotten such good feedback on my podcast. I'm it's so crazy. The podcast is a space where, like, I just feel very safe just to, like, share all my feelings. Like, on here, I, I may be more sarcastic and, like, witty and energetic because, like, I'm filming a video. I'm showing you stuff. Like, I'm excited about this stuff. My podcast is, I feel like, where, like, I open up my heart to you guys and it's, like, very, I don't want to say vulnerable, but it is vulnerable. Like, I sit by myself and record and sometimes I forget that people are listening and I'm sharing, like, my most, I'm going to say my most intimate thoughts, but, like, a lot of my really intimate thoughts. And it's, like, so, it's like, such an experience. I record them. I get them out for you guys every Monday. I want to try to get them out even earlier like Monday morning so I know a lot of you guys listen to them when you're driving to work or school so I do want you guys to be able to look forward to that but if not you let us listen to it on your drive back because <laughs> it'll be up hopefully I try not to get them up no later than like 3 p.m. Uh, LA time so 6 east coast time so hopefully it's like up right as you're driving home from work but I will try to get them up earlier anyway the feedback has been so incredible and I'm just like I, I genuinely want to tell you guys it's just the reason I started was just because I wanted a place just to like share like my like these like I have I don't know, I'm just such an analytical person. I love talking. Like, I talk, I'm sure you can tell, probably too much. Like, I just am so curious about so many things, and I just have so much to share about so many things. Like, I'm so excited to share beauty, and then I'm so excited to share new launches on Clyde, and then I'm so excited to talk about fashion, and then I'm so excited to talk about spirituality, and you know what I mean, and home decor, and there's just, like, so much that I'm just so passionate about, so, like, the podcast is just such a great space where I can share more of, like, my intimate feelings than the other stuff. I will still share, obviously, my feelings on here, but here I can focus more on decor and clothing and, like, more, like, here, here's stuff that we need and on there I can share my intimate feelings anyway so the podcast is called they don't get it it's available basically on every platform I know like a apple podcast like in the little podcast app the little purple one you can search it on your phone on spotify on stitcher on like honestly on every anything that I on google podcast on every platform that I think is available it's on so whatever you're listening whatever you like to listen it's on there so first Today's haul is like some luxury stuff from Gucci and Dior and then Zara for free people in Aritzia. It's kind of like in Revolve. So it's kind of like a cool assortment of stuff. Um, I purchased everything and I'm just excited to share all the stuff. I've tried to hold off on wearing a lot of it because I like to do this haul so that like we're all in the know. I feel like we're genuinely friends and like, okay, so like, hey guys, this is what I got, okay? So we're all in the know and then when I'm wearing it on Instagram, I obviously tag it, but then you guys can be like, oh, I saw that. You know, like, I love it. Like, when you, I don't know, it's like, it's like your friend. Like, she's like, oh, I got this new dress. And then you see your friend in the dress and you're like, oh, damn, you look so good. Like, and you're in, like, you're in the know. Like, I want you guys to be in the know. Like, of course, people who just follow me on Instagram and aren't on here, they're not 
not in the know. Like they have to click and see where it's from. And sometimes I won't even tag everything. Like sometimes I, won't, I just don't only want to tag stuff so that people who are in the know who watch the haul only we know. And then also, I like to do a haul because then I can put all the links to all the stuff in here. So then if people. Is that necessary? I don't know. Oh, I put my hair back. Like I have so much hair and I decide to like put it back all the time. Like I don't I don't know why I do that. Um, but why is this the day that we need to mow everything? Like is this this is really the day for that, huh? What are you, why are you chewing this tag, you sicko? Like why? Why do you wanna do that? Why? Why can't you be Let's be a proper girl. Let's sit like a good girl. You can't bite. You want, you, we don't want to go on timeout. We don't want to go on timeout for biting. Remember how that was? Not fun. Um, but yeah, anyways, and then I can refer. She's, I'm sorry, like, it's like, yeah, but it's like you feel like you have a child. They're like rummaging through stuff while I'm trying to record this. But I, then I have all the links in one place for you guys. And if people ask, it's so easy. Obviously, I'll link the stuff. I try to like do it on Sundays or like some one day of the week, like a recap of what I wore that week on my stories and then link everything for you guys. That's She's pulling my skirt away. That's why I suggest you guys. I always say like follow me and watch my stories because any questions that you have, I try to answer. Like if I get them, for example, I get a lot of questions about the juicer that I had, right? So I started, then I like will link the juicer. And then like I was wearing a ton of outfits during the week. And then on Sunday or Saturday, one of the days, I like just like went and linked, screenshotted and linked everything that I wore with links so it's easy so if you want stuff like quick and easy like oh watch the story see what i wore cool and then also i can refer back to people back to this video with all the links so just a little heads up all the links for everything that i got i will link down below for you guys so let's get started first from aritzia i'm never i obviously was never like an aritzia person i heard about it i never had like any sort of urge to go or anything but then i had this urge that i want i like was like i want tube tops i don't know like i always love to have tube tops looked i find them very flattering and I find them very easy, you know what I mean? And like, just on like more like an athleisure look. Like, for example, I have a black one. It's ex this exact top in black. These are like the best quality tube tops. I'm sure my nipples are like seeping through these because this is a white one. Like, I probably should wear covers over it, but I'm just like at home right now. Um, but it, because this is a package that came in. I don't know, like, I feel like I had to, you know, prove like this is from Rinty, I swear. <laughs> um, really, I like the packaging. It's really cool. Like, this huge sticker on the back, and then it's like in this little. I don't know, a little pouch. I, I thought that was a really nice touch from them. But I got this in white and in black, and this is the best quality tube top I literally have laid my hands on. I think they're about 50 or $60, if I'm not mistaken, which may seem like, okay, it's kind of a lot for a tube top. You think like tube top should be less, I guess. But I think that these are like amazing quality for the price. They are like, they're like this super like thick material. It's like, it's almost like a crochet. Okay, think about like if your grandma crocheted something but super thin mixed with like a spandexing material. Like that's the vibe. Like it's like beautiful high quality crochet but it's stretchy and like hugs your figure. I wore it in black like this one with leggings and just some like um, sneakers the other day and it, like my hair in a bun and it was just like the best look ever. It was like very simple, chill and like very flattering. Like I mean... It just allows your, it hugs your body and, and you're very comfy. Like I feel like I'm like in a sports bra or something, you know, like you can be, you're movable and you're free and you also feel really cute and it's really flattering. And also immediately, obviously, because it's cropped at a certain length, it gives like the, it makes your waist look really nice. I don't know, I think they're a great piece to have. You can wear them like casual. I was wearing them with leggings today. You can wear it more obviously like dressed up, like you could easily be wearing it with like black high-waisted jeans and some sort of blazer on top heels like it could really easily transition into the nighttime i could wear a black latex skirt a blazer over it heels like it you know what i mean it's a piece that you can it's just like a staple piece to have i feel like a black and a white tube top and if you're looking for good ones aritzia is where it's at they are so nice quality i would bring you closer to my chest but i just feel like we're gonna you know i don't think we need to be this close to me um great quality the black one has like makeup on it because i wore it yesterday they're so stretchy and yeah, I don't know. Oh, I'm trying. Fuck what size? I'm thinking about. And sizing, stick to your original size. Okay, so I had this thing where I wanted to order it in. I feel like I was like, oh, maybe they're gonna be too, too, too tight, and maybe I should get it in a size up. I just went with my instinct and got my normal size, extra small, just for my size reference. And they fit perfectly. And it's really stretchy. I was worried that it could be like too, too tight, where like it would. I'd have to force it up and then it would slide down over here, but it does go like all the way over your boobs, covers them fully, 
and yeah i don't know it's great like and then in the summer you can transition it with you can wear this with why am i getting so passionate about this tube top like you can wear it with shorts you can wear it with like oh i just like love like a black tube top with a black latex skirt with like a cool blazer and then shoot lace up shoes i don't lace with the with the latex might be too much but anyway it's just like such a good piece to have right so i got those so easy so great like anything you can pair like a maxi dress with this you can you can even put like this over like like a, if i had, like a black sheer like bodysuit i could put a layer of this and put it on top and it would be cool like it's just so many ways like just give me a moment to let me like sink it in like wow like i could wear these high-waisted jeans and then i could wear like heels and it would look cute maybe i could wear some cool, cool jacket but i could wear it with like high-waisted jeans and then like thick sneakers like my balenciagas and it's cool these tube tops just like are the coolest most versatile like if you really like, don't know what to wear you just throw on your tube top and then find a bottom and then the outfit like comes together itself so i love that um i got some stuff from free people kind of like random but kind of cool okay so first i got this just graph i wanted like a graphic tee i'm very weird about like the sayings on them honestly like i don't know like i i, I do you ever you know some of the sayings on them i'm just like it's gonna be on my body people are gonna wear it and people are gonna like read the saying and like judge me because of the saying so I, I don't know anyway this one it's the saying still kind of like iffy right but it's like funny i think it's cute so i got this in a size medium and instead of getting it in an extra small or a small i wanted like over oversized and like this is like honestly not even that oversized right like this is like i mean this is exactly what i wanted like this is how i wanted it to fit i wanted it to be like comfy cute but like i'm just like this is a medium just so we see so size up accordingly like because um, you know what? i don't know i didn't want it to be like a, i didn't want if i ordered this in an extra small it would be like this on me and like cropped and tight like an air plus holidays like we're not going for that you know and if it was a, a small it, might, it wouldn't be loose enough it would be like that you know what it's like not yet like the comfy fit but not the tight fit and it's just like awkward so this is like the perfect fit right it's like a cream color and then in coral it says blonde to literally everything it's just like to the cute box to my dear sunglasses which i'll show you but anyway it's so rude it's so rude what if i took your toys and just ripped them apart next time when you have a favorite toy i'm gonna take the, your toy and i'm gonna chew it okay i just thought it was really really cute i mean you could wear it with like do I don't even need to go over options, right? Like I just thought it was cool. It's just like interesting. I don't know why I liked it. I like the font. I like the I like the color combination. I just think it's like funny. I don't know. I just like like it. You know. I don't need to explain that further. That's just like if you if you get it, you get it. If not, you can move along. And this is like the coolest thing ever. So crochet is gonna be really popular starting spring and going into summer. It's gonna be like the big trend. So I, I saw this and I was like, I love it and I, I'm so happy I can actually wear it because if the, it wasn't in trend, this would be like a little bit of a stretch to wear, okay? Honestly, it's this midi skirt with crochet like your grandma did it, okay? It's iconic. It's such good quality. I don't know if it's hand crochet or anything like that. I got this in a size small. There were still a lot of extra small and I was pretty bummed and I was worried that the small would be too big because I'm so tiny. Like, that I, whenever I say stuff like that, people get so offended, but like, I'm genuinely 5'2 and then you see it, like, I am like okay i'm just i'm petite okay so something on me if it's not tight it looks it's loose and it falls on me so like this normally if a skirt isn't my size it won't sit on my waist it'll just fall and it's unflattering and then to get it tailored i can get it tailored but then that's like a whole other cost and this skirt was like i mean for what it is i don't i think it was kind of reasonably priced because it's really good quality but it was on the pricier side so if i had to go and get this tailored on top of it i'd just be like okay this better be worth it so Anyway, I got it in a small instead of extra small. It ended up actually fitting me really nicely. So if you're like, it's, if it's only available in a size up from your size, I would still get it if you're interested because it fit me completely perfectly. Like if the label said extra small, I honestly wouldn't notice a difference. So it's this crochet skirt. There's like an underlay in it, but it's like a mini length, which I kind like. Like a little slip goes to a mini and the length is like midi and then it has this crochet and what i like about it is it's like very straight down so it's like very flattering right like i could wear it with like in the summer or spring what's what why what you smell other doggy you smell other doggy our neighbors have doggy you smell her from, from all the way from afar okay why are we why are we we're so wild today huh we're just rowdy we were so rowdy today. Yeah? You're okay. I'm gonna bite you. I like it because it's very straight down, right? So if this skirt was like outwards, it wouldn't go just went out. It would be like really pretty and like romantic style, but it wouldn't be like flattering. And because it's so like straight down and it's like still, it's still smelling the door like crazy. 
because it goes straight down and it's so it's like still so tight from like from here to here it still is so flattering on your body and like i was saying i'll wear with a even just like tucked into this it'd be so cute like it'd still give you like a nice body figure but then it's like midi and it's crocheted so it's like very i don't know it's like beautiful and elegant i don't know if, yeah i don't know if elegant is the word but you know what i'm saying like it's more it's really like a, a nice it, it's just nice and classy not what's the word like i don't say bohemian like a mix between elegant and classy it's just like it's put to it's like it's tasteful that's the word okay love the crochet skirt and then I got these two tops that I really like. Okay, so I have this thing where I didn't know how I wanted them to fit. Like, I didn't know if they would be... I already wore this one. I already wore it on Instagram. If you want to go see what it looks like on. And I put, like, a link for it Well, that on that Sunday. So, I got I, I got these tops. They're really cute. There's, like, a basic top in the front. Like, little lace. And then the backs are open Vs. I got them, obviously, for the open Vs. I think that's, like, so pretty. And I didn't know how they were going to fit. I didn't know if they were going to be, like, super, super tight. Or, like... And then, like... like 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 a slug tight like kind of like this or if they're gonna be comfy and loose and i also didn't know like what style i wanted them in i was like i don't know, do i want them to be like super tight so i can like wear them as more like a cute bodysuit and stuff or do i want it to be like a comfy loose like like you know they're like a, you know there's like those henley tops that are just like cute and like loungy like the buttons in the front and you you wear it and it's like slouchy on you it's just like sunday like drinking a mimosa like relax vibe I don't know if I wanted it like that or I wanted it like tight. So I ordered one and an extra small one and a small and they already are fit like comfy cozy. Like they don't fit tight. Like they're not like, they're not like, you know, they're like, it has like movement to it. So this one is an, an extra small and it's just black. I mean, it's just, you can see it's like, this is the, the fabric on it. It's just kind of like a classic. It has, it's kind of like, has like little lines on it. Really cute and light. And then the back has, I like how the lace lines the whole thing. The has a very deep V, which I think is so flattering and pretty. So I got those. The quality is like very, it's just like a comfy, like I think, think of a, oh my gosh, comfy, like stretchy, like material, <laughs> I'm sorry if it's not helpful, but just so you can understand what it's like, it's just like that typical like, you know, like, a, I don't want to say a rib, but kind of like stretchy material like that, just so you know what to expect. This one I got in a small, so it's going to be even like more comfy, cozy, so we'll see how I'll style this. I... I think that she just took my crochet skirt. Me is like, it's in her mouth. I don't know, I just thought these were good to have um, pieces to put, like tuck into jeans or tuck into pants or tuck, like good to have basics that I could like use them just for like the front. Like let's say if I'm just gonna wear these like some high-waisted shorts and some sort of jacket over just to have like that plain black base. And then I think they also could be used for cool stuff for their backs. I just thought they were nice to have. So I got these. That's, and then over, also I got this. Um, from Free People, it's a bodysuit. It's also okay. So I didn't know it was gonna be like this. It's like a, a spandex material. I did not know it was gonna be this material. It looked like it was like a cotton, like a, just a thick cotton, but it is like spandexy. And I guess it's from their Intimately line, which is weird because it's not like I mean I don't know why you'd be wearing like this in, in the bedroom. I mean it looks like a gymnastics leotard. I don't know. I I, I who am I to say? Uh, I guess I don't know. Like. I guess like their interest doesn't have to be like like lingerie, but like I don't know. This is just it's like a it's like a bot off the shoulder bodysuit. Anyway, it's like a stretchy material. I'm gonna have to wear like some sort of like my, I mean it's such a thin material. I'm gonna have to wear like some sort of nipple covers or nipple concealer somehow that aren't gonna show through vividly because you know most are kind of thick and this is thin, so I don't want them to show through. If anyone has any recommendations of any nipple covers that you think wouldn't show through really like light stretchy material like fabric like this, let me know. I thought it was really cute. I like that the asymmetrical and i like that it's red it's a really pretty red and i figured oh like this will be nice also with like with for layering and for i don't know for styling it's easy to style with a lot of bottoms i figured and i feel like you could also again like use it just as a red base we're gonna throw something over i don't know i thought it was really nice i thought it was like i thought that, that it's very body hugging so it's flattering and the color is flattering so i thought it'd be nice i'll have to get back to you and like my thoughts like I still love it, but I need to wear it a little bit just to, to like see, okay? From Zara, I got three bottoms. Like how how long can this haul get? These I just put in the wash in the wash a little bit like crinkly, but they're faux leather joggers. I love these so much. Warning you, they're not as high, like they're not super super high waisted. They're like they're not mid rise. They're not high waisted. They're like in between. I thought that they were gonna be super high waisted. Okay, like even this outfit would be so cool, right? I guess, but we'll have to see if they'll even get this high waisted. But like you know, and then like you could wear like heels like white heels so cute like jacket okay i don't know i'm getting like 
puffy jacket, like a bag. I already have like a look in mine, but these are really good. Honestly, they're really nice quality. They look, they look very expensive on, and they were on 50 or $60. I highly recommend you pick these up if you've been looking for some faux leather joggers. A really great piece. I do wish, again, that they were more high-waisted because they're like that in-between where I, sometimes that slip of skin shows. And that's just like frustrating when... It's it's fine if you're wearing like a look like this because it's like, oh, it's like athletic. But when you're wearing like a put-together outfit and you need something to be high-waisted over it, it looks weird and there's a gap. So... Um, I'd keep this in mind. This would be good to wear with things like bodysuits where it's like complete so if it moves it doesn't matter. Um, but really great to have in your collection just you know with sneakers you can wear them with heels. They're really cool. You can wear like a cool sexy corset, these, and then heels and it could be cool. I guess the corset would have to be not like lace or something. It would have to be like a little bit more chill because leather and, and lace would be a little bit too extreme but we have that. Next I got... Are we trying to take a selfie? Do you say hi? Oh, oh, we're camera shy. Oh, no, not right now. Her agent's not here. She she can't speak. Sorry. Sorry, no comments from her. Do you see how it takes me an hour to do a haul? Okay, this is like, I don't even need to explain it. Okay, it's a silk midi skirt that's neon yellow. I mean, first of all, this color is very in trend. Midi, silk also. I mean, like... Do I have to say more? I don't, I don't even. I can't. Even, if you don't, if like, if, if you don't understand by that point, there's like nothing else to say. You just like need that. If you saw that and you didn't realize that you needed that, like I don't know, right? You just you don't. You already know that you need it. There's just like no question. This one I need to go take to my tailor to get hem to get tailored because it's loose on me, and I knew it would be loose on me because they didn't have this in a size extra small. They only made it in a size small, medium, or large. Again, I'm not trying to like be weird about saying size. People get so offended. Like, it, why are we so offended? Like, I'm just a sm first of all, I'm a small person, and like, you know, like I don't know. Like, we, we just let's just calm down about size. People get like so offended. Like, why do you say they're extra small so much? It's like for people who are similar to my size, or even if you're looking for a reference, I know you'd like to know. So if you're a little bit bigger than me, then which is there's nothing wrong with that. I feel like if you ever, I don't know, if anyone is like. Do you guys feel like nowadays you can like preface everything because you just feel like anyone can be offended at anything? Like I'm never malicious, but I'm just letting you know like this is big on me. But if so, if you're a little bigger than me, this will fit you perfectly. And you have to pay for someone to get it tailored. Like that's a steal. I wish I didn't have to go get it tailored, you know? I wish they made it an extra small so I didn't have to go pay for a tailor and it could just come normally. But love this skirt. It's again, it's like a midi like tight bodycon. I love the black and white contrast of it. I love that it has like this like slit and it opens down the center. I just think that's so fucking cool. Um, I don't know. I love it. Like I love that it's midi. I love the fabric. It's like a like, comfy athleisure fabric. I'm, I'm not saying, but am I saying? It's so cute, and it was only $30, so what a steal. Okay, now it's, and then, okay, so these are the shoes that you need. So for the, okay, so basically I got a really good deal on these. So they originally were like 170 or 180, I got them for 70. They're from Revolve, I bought them myself, actually. Um, she, Mia chewed up the heel, I don't care because from a distance, like, at night, from, even from a distance, you might be able to tell if there's like bite marks on it. And then, you know, I left them out. I didn't think that she would chew on them, but she did. They don't only have them left in like a few sizes. I think they have them left like eight, nine. Something like that. So if you have a bigger foot, grab these now. They're such a good deal. They're so cute. First of all, I love white. I've been loving white. It's like in my, my favorite color. Like I love white. Oh, I love white so much. I love white. I just, I love monochromatic, like full white looks. Like white gets me going, okay? Like, oh, I'm getting like heated. I got a size seven. These are so flattering on your foot. They have these like little, how many? One, two, three, four like little hooks like that that go on your foot. And then this ties. And then we all know how sexy it looks like when like this ties around your foot. These are so great. I mean, I don't I don't think I need to say more, right? Like, I don't know. I could explain further why I, I need them, but I'm just going to show them. Then I got two things. So I got one thing from Gucci. Gucci. I saw these and I was like, I need them. They're basically Gucci tights. Has like what? The little card. Here, I'm not going to let you chew any of this. They're just black tights with the Gucci logo. <laughs> Nothing crazy. Um, the, the G's are very small. I will wear these on Instagram. So if you want to see what they look like, I'll probably wear them within the next week. Definitely. Do you want to see? Definitely go on there. I thought that they were so cool. I feel like the Fendi ones are just too much for me. Like the Fendi, because the F's are so big. Like the F on those tights is like this big. And then it, I feel like they look like pants, like borderline pants that are just too see-through. Like, you know, there's like, there's tights and there's pants. And then there's like those weird tights that are like trying to be leggings, but it's weird because the F's are so big and then they're dark. Like it's a dark brown. I think they have them in like those tights in like red and black and stuff. 
but I don't know it just it makes it look like they're pants and then when people wear them with stuff it looks like you wore like a sweater over pants which is just like weird to me does anyone you might think I'm psychotic but if you understand what I'm saying then you like really grasp this concept right like do you know what I'm saying like it looks like there's they have pants on and they like put a, a like a they put like a skirt over their pants and then a sweater I don't know it's just too big for me the Fendi print debate between getting the brown ones of those, like just the classic color. The red ones are really kind of cute too, honestly, I won't lie. But I just, those are going to be so hard to style, like, why why would I purchase those, you know? Um, okay, come on. Let's, let's, do you want to calm down for this rest of the haul? I'll just sit, like, right here. Okay, so I ended up getting these. I figured they're black, and the G's are so small on them. Like, the G's are, like, this big on them. Like, uh -uh. Like they're like, the, the G's are like that tiny. They're tiny, tiny. You can just Google them. I'll link them for you. I'll link everything for you. Um, these I got off of Essence. They ship out of Essence. I think it's based out of Montreal. It, they ship and they like came really quickly. So I had a really good experience ordering from there. And yeah, and I think they were the normal price that they came with. Next, okay, so I'm not, I am so picky about sunglasses. You probably haven't seen me wear sunglasses in the past year because unless I like love them, I won't wear them, okay? I'd rather not wear sunglasses than wear ones I don't like. Like I just can't do it. And I'm really picky, and I'm also really picky about designer sunglasses because I refuse to spend three hundred to four hundred dollars on plastic if I'm not like if I'm gonna spend that much money on plastic. That plastic better like I better I better love that like that plastic better change me, okay? Like, and I have not felt like passionate. I'm trying to do this new thing where like <laughs> it's like kind of like the the condo method of like you know when you throw things away. If you haven't read that, but okay, I'm not even gonna. It's 29, you guys know, right? There's a book called The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up, and it's by this woman who, her basis of how she cleans, like, well, she has a way of organizing, but when she's getting rid of stuff, her, she has a, her own way of organizing things. She, like, divides the house in certain categories, but on, when but when you're cleaning up um, those parts of your house, you look at each item and you think, like, does this bring me joy? And so then you, if it doesn't, you get rid of it. So now I'm doing kind of the reverse so that I hopefully don't have to do that process. I'm only going to buy things that bring me joy. And of course, something that maybe, well, now in a year, you might not, it might not bring you joy. But at least now when I'm buying it, I like, do I love it? Like, like do I love it? Because before I, I buy stuff I like, I'd be like, I like this top. I think it's cute. It's nice. But I wasn't like, I love it. Like, you know that feeling when you see something that you need, you have no questions, you just like add it to your cart, you check out. Like, there is no questions asked. Like, you, you're like, I don't, like, no, like, I just need that. Like, you've... You've, there's no questions asked. You know those items? I'm trying to only buy items like that that are like no questions asked. Like none. Like need it. You know? I will, I will admit some like the free people around top. I don't know. Like I really liked it. But I don't know if that was like. I was like. I'm going to be like oh my gosh if I don't get it. So. But these I was like that's it. So they're from Dior. It's the packaging. She chewed the box. Okay. Stop doing that. Stop doing that. Knock it over. They're called the Dior Power sunglasses, and I'm not gonna explain why I like them. I'm just gonna. Okay, these are definitely for a specific face shape, but they're for my face shape, which is very rare, okay? Because most sunglasses, like, most people's, I don't know, like, my face structure is very, like, defined. I got that from my dad. Literally, my dad has, like, a very. I, I swear to you, like, uh, I, I swear on me as life, I've not had anything done to my jaw, no fillers, nothing, okay? My face is, like, look at my dad, like, I just have this face structure. So my face is very, like, like that, like, angled. And so some, if I'm wearing, like, round sunglasses, it just looks weird on me, okay? Like, anything round, it looks weird on me. Like, aviators even look weird on me. Cat eye looks weird on me. Like, so, sunglasses just, like, look weird on me, right? And most sunglasses don't look most good on most people don't look good on me. I just found that, okay? So I just, I wouldn't wear them unless I loved them. But these probably wouldn't look that good on most people. Like my mom tried them on and they looked, honestly, we both were like, no. But because they're, they're just like, basically, okay, I'm just going to try them on. So I love them on me because they're just like straight across, very blunt. And it bounces on my face because my face is so like this way. So then I feel like there's a bar across my face. It just balances it. Like it does something. Like if they were cat eye, it would make my face look weird. If they were round, it would make my face look weird. But because they're so structured across it just does something okay like i think that they look so good on me I, I, i'm not one to be like that but like honestly like thank you like these are made for me i love them so much um i don't like they're great right like i love them i love them they're just like i don't know i just feel like yes like finally a sunglass for me i like to wear them like a little bit lower like that i don't know i just Hopefully someone understand the face shape thing. 
you get what I'm saying? Like, if I were around sunglasses, it just looks so weird because, like, my face starts going down and then I, like, the, 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 it just looks weird. And aviators look weird on me, I find. I don't know. Like, it's hard for me to find sunglasses that I like. Really, like, I don't know. If, honestly. And then, the, and then I tried, like, a pair of... When I was on vacation in Mexico, I had like those like small kind of small ones that are kind of popular, um, just from like a like a cheaper version. And I just I really like how they look. And I was like, oh, it's like something about my mouth. Like I was looking at my face. It's like something about like the bar breaking up my face. And then these on I on the model online she had the exact same face structure as me, like exact same. Like literally her face was this structure. And I saw another girl. I was like trying to find people who had the, had photos of them with them on because I was trying to see how they'd look. And another girl who had my exact face structure had them. And I was like, I knew, I was like, they're gonna look out on me because I just knew. I don't know, I find that like it balances my face. It looks good and I love them. So these are them, they're called Dior Power. This is a little pouch. They're like definitely extra. Like, I don't know, when you walk, when I like, <laughs> when you walk into like a coffee shop in them, like people definitely look at you, but you're just like, maybe I wanted to go to coffee shops so I can just make my own at home. Just kidding, some coffee shops I do like, but. I don't know, I just feel like they're made for me, like I I love them, okay? I love them and like I these are I saw them and I was like I just like knew that I needed them and yeah they have all the certification card stuff in here. So that was my haul. Like honestly I loved everything. I hope you loved everything. I hope you added like 17 things to your cart already. I'll link everything for you guys, like I said, so it's easy for you if you're interested. If you get anything that I recommend, honestly, like Instagram, DM me, show me. I really love to hear. I'm not one of those people that's like weird. That's like, oh, I got this, and like I'm not gonna like show you, or I'm not gonna tag it. Like if I love something, I'm so happy if you guys love it too. And I love, you know what I mean? I don't know, just cool. So I love you guys. I will link my podcast down below. I mean, you can just search it on any platform, but I'll link it to on Spotify and Apple if you want to click it on your phone and listen. I will link all these items down below. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this haul and I will be wearing all this on Instagram. So if you want to see it styled, I'm not sure if you're doing, but genuinely this will be styled. So just check it out on there and you can see the way I put the things together if you're interested just to see them on and stuff. And yeah, I love you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Hope you're having a great day. Um, yeah, of course, if you want to subscribe, hit the bell. I'm not, I, I feel so annoying saying that, but honestly, if you want to come back i'd really appreciate it if you subscribed it means so much it's like so exciting when you new people join the community it's really cool to see that it, if my content resonates with you and you're as like anal about stuff as me then please join i would love to have you on here and the bell just make sure you get like a notification on your phone when a video comes out so yeah i love you guys i'll link everything mia's fine. like now that we're done doing the haul now she wants to go play over there but when we're filming like we need to, to rummage everything we need to take everything we need to rattle the tripod <laughs>